So good afternoon, everybody. Uh, Moniz again. Um, I will be presenting the uh, the PCV and rota vaccine introduction in Somalia. So, so um, basically, uh, uh, I am going to share with you a, a brief demography um, of Somalia. So, as you see, uh, Somalia borders with uh, with the countries of Ethiopia, Kenya, uh, uh, Somalia, and Djibouti, and that's uh, it. Also has uh, sorry. Um, so, um, Formal, Somalia has a, was a decentralized, um, and it has seven uh, federal uh, member states. Um, and it also has uh, 23 regions and uh, 110 uh, uh, districts. So um, that is the, the schedule of, uh, of Somalia. Uh, routine immunization, and if you look at the green uh, color, um, that's that's the introduction of the new vaccines. Uh, so you can see the BCV um, introduction and the uh, rota introduction, and uh, also if you can see the uh, red um, uh, color, we are trying to phase it out uh, the, the the monovalent uh, uh, measles vaccine and replace it with the uh, uh, the MR. So. Um, basically, um, uh, if you look at the, the, the demographic, uh, uh, I mean, if you look at the burden of, uh, of pneumonia, uh, okay, there's some small mistake there, but if you look at the uh, uh, burden of pneumonia um, of under fives, um, you can see from the last five years, uh, the blue uh, color is the cases of under five mortality, and then the orange color is the death uh, of under five uh, uh, due to uh, pneumonia. Um, so uh, this data, it's worth to note that this data is uh, administrative data, um, um, which is from the, our DHSI2. And uh, as we speak, uh, there is no uh, locally uh, uh, conducted uh, studies uh, that can generate uh, evidence-based uh, 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 evidence the uh, paste K, um, for the burden of pneumonia. Okay, so um, looking at the uh, uh, cases of under five of acute watery diarrhea, um, still, if you look at for the last five uh, five years, um, the blue still is the cases, and then the orange is is the that's under five secondary to acute watery uh, diarrhea. Um, so again, this is also administrative data, and it, there is no locally uh, uh, made studies in the country. Okay, so um, uh, the national uh, progress to uh, sustainable developmental uh, goals, that is uh, the SDGs uh, 3.2. Um, as you can see, um, this is data which is uh, from uh, UNICEF and WHO. Um, when you look at uh, the, the, the vision of 2030, which says that uh, under five uh, mortality should be low as uh, 25%, 25 per 1,000, and uh, neonatal mortality to be 12 uh, per 1,000. You can see where the country is. And uh, yeah, so um, the there is a need of acceleration to reduce um, under five mortality, infant mortality, and neonatal mortality. And, and one of the things to reduce is by introducing um, these two uh, important vaccines, that's the PCV and, and then ROTA. Uh, the other uh, contributing factors which uh, the government of Somalia is, is, is working hard uh, to achieve um, we, we, we are also um, having uh, a MNH uh, acceleration plan, uh, that's maternal and child health acceleration plan, which is going on um, to catch up uh, on uh, the uh, uh, 2030 uh, uh, vision of, of, of the world, of SDGs. Continue next. So the objectives of, of the BCV, uh, I think I share with the same objectives. 
um, with the other uh, three uh, country uh, uh, which are here and then the overall uh, objectives uh, uh, that is the general objective is to reduce morbidity and mortality uh, due to uh, pneumococcal infections and those caused by diarrhea and also the country is also introducing MR um, which is not part of this uh, topic of discussion. Uh, next. So um, if uh, we look at the decision of decision making for the PCV and other uh, vaccines, uh, uh, we, we basically, the government of Somalia in 19, uh, uh, I mean 2020 has revised the EBI policy uh, to include uh, the introduction of the uh, new uh, vaccines. Um, we also um, uh, developed the uh, C, uh, CM uh, PY uh, uh, 20, 21, 20, 25 was also developed. Um, and also the waiver was because of the fragility of the country, uh, the core finance was waived um, in 20, 2020, 2020, 2020, 2023. The government of Somalia uh, reaffirmed its commitment uh, by participation in Barcelona and, uh, and the Madrid conferences where the government of Somalia from uh, the top officials to the uh, from the president prime minister to the ministry they they, they made a commitment and, uh, and outlined the importance of introducing these uh, new vaccines um, uh, we have uh, in 2023 the minister has uh, uh, appointed uh, the, the NITAG uh, in Somalia that was March um, 23 2023 this year and the combustive building and, uh, uh, of those uh, NITAG uh, committee is going on. And uh, I'm happy uh, to share with you that the chairman of the committee um, is with us uh, in the room today. Um, the, uh, also, um, the country has also submitted uh, the proposal of the introduction of the new vaccines um, to Gavi and the proposal was also submitted. Uh, we are now working on the comments and other uh, important issues with our technical partners uh, from the country. So um, we also, um, uh, in 2024, we, we also uh, added in our annual work plan, um, the, the inclusion of these uh, new, uh, new vaccines. Um, we also had a functioning ICC uh, since 2018 uh, to date. Um, so uh, they also a program complementarity, one health strategy and community health strategy was also developed. Uh, there is also a strong technical support from uh, UNICEF, uh, WHO, Gavi and other partners uh, in, on, on introduction of the new vaccines and uh, the EBI uh, program in general. Next, please. So um, to meet the objectives, uh, the, the country targets uh, after introducing these vaccines um, is as follows, looking at the pneumon uh, uh, pneumococcal conjugate vaccine and the rotavirus. Next. So um, uh, how do we plan to introduce uh, the new introduction or the, the, the new vaccines? Um, I have mentioned the country has a federal uh, member states so we are going to introduce it in, uh, in three phases, um, looking at the experience we have learned uh, from the introduction of uh, previous vaccines. So uh, basically on October uh, 2024, we are going to introduce the vaccine in two regions, that is Banadir and Puntlan. And uh, November 2024, we will introduce uh, Galmuduk, uh, Chubalan, Southwest and Hirshabele. And lastly, uh, December 2024, will introduce uh, the last region, uh, which is uh, Somaliland. Next, please. So um, the PCV uh, catch up, uh, the, the, the objectives will be, first of all, uh, to introduce uh, one nationwide one single of PCV uh, between the children, children between the age of uh, one year to five years, and at the same time to, to uh, provide awareness and, uh, uh, about the information uh, 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 from from up to household uh, levels. So additionally, uh, the, ca the catch up, uh, uh, PCV catch up will also uh, address the zero uh, dose children 
it will reach where the zero children is. We will also offer a vitamin A uh, from children six months to uh, uh, five years. We will also offer one, one dose of deworming from 12 to uh, 59 months. Next. So um, after the introduction of the, of the PCV, that's how we are going to do it. We will do one catch-up uh, uh, PCV for the whole country once. Um, in 2024, we are introducing the vaccines, and in 2025, we will have three months uh, for the preparation of the, of the PCV catch-up, and then in March, when everything is set, um, we will be introducing the, 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 the I will be um, uh, doing the PCV uh, catch-up. And uh, the target is to reach uh, 2.9 million children. Next. So um, PCV and rotor vaccine introduction in the context of other national vaccine priorities. Um, we, as, we, as I have mentioned initially, we will introduce also um, an MRF vaccine. So we'll start with the catch up uh, uh, and then flowed by uh, introduction of the, of the MR. So um, as we mentioned also, we will, re we will replace, MR will replace the monovalent vaccine at nine, uh, at nine months and 15 months. Um, so the, the other vaccines which has already been introduced is the noble OBV2 uh, in response of the uh, vaccine rabid polio outbreak, uh, which was in the country. Uh, the, the campaign was already done in the country. In 2022, uh, we also introduced to the routine uh, immunization to the IBV2 and MZV2 was also introduced and uh, HBV is under, the, under consideration. Next. So, uh, if you see the role of pneumonia and diarrhea in the national uh, causes of child uh, deaths, uh, you can see uh, the red, which is 21.6%, and then you can see the yellow, which is 14, and that total will give you 38.5 uh, uh, of under five deaths uh, by pneumonia and uh, uh, by pneumonia and diarrhea together. So. If you can, you can see that pneumonia causes is number one cause of uh, of, 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 of the hurry, of, of number one cause of uh, uh, under five uh, mortality in our country. Next. Uh, so um, <clears throat> this, uh, uh, since there's no uh, studies which has been done in our country, um, when we were uh, choosing the PCV13, um, we we looked at. Uh, uh, nearby uh, countries like uh, Kenya and Ethiopia, and uh, these are the studies we, we managed to uh, uh, to retrieve uh, after introducing of uh, of PCV13. Uh, there was a 90% reduction in pneumonia case in in Kenya, and uh, after introducing of uh, rota, rota uh, virus vaccine, it has showed that in two counties in Kenya, it has reduced 55% reduction in, in, in rotafire associated hospitalization. Okay, next. So the opportunities for PCV and rotor vaccine introduction, uh, number one, uh, it will strengthen the coordination at, nation, at national and subnational levels. Um, it will also uh, provide a great opportunity for the both federal uh, Ministry of Health and subnational levels uh, to learn more about budgeting and the uh, 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 understanding of the GAFI process, planning, budgeting, and all those things. Uh, it will also um, help us to revise uh, the guidelines and the policies to catch up for the older, older groups. It will also improve the coverage and equity by reaching uh, previously uh, underserved communities. Uh, those are the IDBs, uh, uh, the newly liberated areas of, of our country, which was re recently liberated uh, from uh, the, 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 the Al-Shabaab and other uh, terrorist groups. Um, it will also reach uh, people who are, who are underprivileged, IDBs and the zero dose uh, uh, ch ch uh, children. Next. So, um, uh, it also it will also have we will have also opportunity to strengthen our surveillance uh, systems. Uh, the moment we introduce MR, we will be 
uh, tracking the rubella and congenital uh, rubella syndrome. Uh, the, it will be added in the surveillance of the country. Um, uh, the introduction of these new vaccines will also um, uh, come up with financial and uh, technical support uh, to further strengthen the health system of the country. Um, it will also uh, strengthen the cold chain logistics uh, and also um, it will also uh, strengthen the, the, the cold chain uh, 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 staff and also uh, take part in combust building of those uh, uh, staff in the cold chain and also to ensure complementarity with other Gavi, Gavi and, and donor support. It will also be an opportunity uh, to, uh, to, to scale up integration of COVID-19 vaccination into the routine immunization and the primary health care. So um, also um, it will uh, uh, help us to train uh, the, the, the health workers on the new introduction of new vaccines uh, using the models from the IIB uh, will be added also. It will also improve the planning and, 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 and macro planning skills at all levels. Uh, it will strengthen the social mobilization and community engagement. It will be an opportunity to tighten uh, the coordination with, with the Bolio program and the fact experience and knowledge. PCV and MR catch up uh, campaigns will be used to offer other uh, uh, it will also take part in the integration of uh, maternal and child health uh, services. Um, it will also improve uh, 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 the skills of state and uh, district level supervisions, and it will also help us to review and revise uh, uh, health information systems, data collections, and supervision and checklist. It will also enhance the AFI surveillance and immunization safety. So the challenge is, um, uh, it's not something which is new, it is something which uh, most of these uh, countries which were introducing this vaccine share. Uh, uh, so starting from the uh, lack of data, as we have mentioned, um, we are not uh, aware of the, 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 the serotypes of the, of the pneumonia in Somalia. Uh, the issue of the co-financing is also uh, another challenge and of course, um, uh, human resource uh, capacity in both uh, uh, the quantity, the number of the, of the health workers are not enough. And even if they are there, their capacity is not at the level which is, uh, which is required as a standard. Uh, the other thing is the fragility and uh, protracted humanitarian crisis, um, which uh, for security challenges, which Somalia also has a security challenges. Um, we have uh, mobile uh, populations um, which um, move around uh, uh, the three countries in Ethiopia, Somalia and Kenya. People are nomadic and it's very difficult to, to get those who, who miss doses or those who are defaulters, so ever moving. Um, the IDBs um, caused by either droughts or by insecurity. Um, next. So um, as other colleagues have mentioned, we also have uh, competing uh, uh, priorities. Uh, uh, that is uh, the circulating uh, polio, vaccine derived polio since 2017, which is there in the country. Um, the campaigns also, BZV and MR catch up campaigns. Um, and also the issue of the zero dose uh, children in the country. Uh, and as I have mentioned, there's a frequent population movements, uh, which makes uh, challenging. So next. So uh, uh, there are challenges in, in coordination with subnational levels, um, um, usually uh, at, at, at the federal level and national level, the coordination uh, has issues, uh, but uh, we also have ex uh, expensive and uh, complex uh, vaccine distribution network, uh, that's mostly the areas which are not secure. So airlifting are, are sometimes used to reach those areas. And the issue of misconception, uh, misinformation and hesitance, I think we also share with other countries and that's a challenge which is uh, uh, in the, all over the world. Uh, continue. So um, uh, the Minister of Health, uh, Federal Minister of Health has a strong technical support from partners, uh, uh, UNICEF, um, uh, WHO, Gavi, uh, international NGOs, um, uh, that we, we, we work together in hand in hand. Next. Uh, 
So um, the government of uh, Somalia, Minister of Health Priorities, is to present to donors and uh, to present partners and donors of, of, of Somalia a strong commitment and determination of achieving universal health coverage, SDG targeted by reducing uh, child mortality, uh, morbidity, and uh, mortality. Uh, number two is to advocate for resource mobilization and technical expertise uh, and experience sharing of uh, experience sharing on a new introduction of new vaccines from other countries with a similar context, uh, of course, and the capacity building uh, opportunities for Somalia and NITAG members through exchanging experience uh, with, uh, with, the, with other NITAG members from part, uh, participating countries. So basically, uh, these are the finance for, for the introduction of the uh, new vaccines. Next. So as a conclusion, uh, number one, uh, there is a strong uh, political commitment federal, from federal government of Somalia uh, with the support of partners. Uh, there is a need of resources to expand and sustain a strong uh, routine immunization program. And uh, the, the NVI presents the opportunity to address uh, main causes, as we have mentioned, of, of child uh, morbidity and mortality. Um, it's also a unique opportunity to strengthen, uh, as we mentioned, the health system of the country, an opportunity uh, to make uh, better synergies uh, and complementarities and efficiencies for other uh, programs like uh, Damal Afimad is a program which is funded by uh, the World Bank, and Better Life is a program funded by FCDO and also Gavi and Global Fund. Thank you.